Welcome back. They make cute decorations and are also pretty fun to play with. Our resident craft expert, Jennifer Ackerman Haywood from the Grand Rapids Press and CraftSanity.com is here to show us how to make stuffed fabric toys. Thanks for coming back and being yeah, with us again great today. Yeah, to be here. Yeah, there's like a lot of great books out, and I'll kind of hold these up, that kind of can inspire people. And I'll put these titles on uh, CraftSanity.com oh, so good. people can see. Um, so I've done some projects from the book with my daughter, but it's always fun when you kind of go off-road and do your own. Yeah, go a little thing. creative. You know, you learn the basics yeah. and then you can kind of go and make your own So thing. I made a, a tree the other day, which was fun to do. And, you know, it's just one of those things where anything you can draw, and I actually use newspaper, just take a Sharpie, draw You probably shape. have a lot of that working for the press. So yeah, you know, you've you know, got... <laughs> I have a great supply of newspaper. <laughs> exactly. So out of that. Today we're going to focus on making the little bird. Oh, no, I that. that is so Let cute. Let me just tell you, if I seem like a little uh, scattered today, I stayed up very late to try oh. to make a bird cage. Which I you can die a bird cage, but people like me want to make everything. Yeah. So I did. Well, people like um, you can make anything, Jennifer. That's well, why we love you. Well, I would have to say, if it's two o'clock in the morning, just buy a bird cage. Just buy a bird cage. Go yeah, to Michael's and buy it. Yeah, just buy the bird cage. <laughs> well, what we're gonna do is, is um, I started out. I just made my little. Um, There's pattern, your pattern right there. Just it out. On a, and I don't draw very well. So if people think, oh, I can't do this, I don't draw. Well, I don't really draw yeah. either. So um, I just, and all you have to do is put this on your fabric, um, fold it in half, right sides together, and cut, it, cut your pieces out. And then you just have them pinned like this. I sew around the edge. I didn't bring my machine today. Leave about a, um, two inches open so you can two stuff it. Two inches to put all the stuff yeah, in there. Yeah, just to stuff it. And then what you do is you clip you clip it because it's it's rounded. So you want to clip. See, that's where I always go wrong because I've tried to do this too, like making, you know, like pillows and stuff like that and yeah, rounded and things. Yeah, if you have so a curved edge, you've little... got, you have to clip it. Ah. And then there's some little tools, a little trick here. And we're going to have to probably skip ahead. But what, what I, when you turn this inside out, it looks kind of like, you're, you know, you're like, wow, how I can get out of this? <laughs> how is that going to be? Yeah, you yeah. can use a dowel, either sharpen, take a, a dowel and put it in your pencil sharpener and sharpen it um, just a little bit and then sand the edge so it's not pointy. But the, um, I'm using actually a broken paintbrush, the brush Oh, I see. So you've got a nice yeah, point so there. Yeah, so it's sanded where, down. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm just kind of... That way you're not going to rip the fabric or rip exactly. the seam or anything, but then so you, you can get make your, it really good. you get your shape and then just trace around and this kind of oh, that gets the good. shape there. And then you want to just stuff this. Okay. Okay. And so we're not going to, we're not going to keep, keep, uh, Working with this one, we'll move on to this one. To this little guy. You stop now. See now, that's looking more like a bird. It's starting to look like a bird. And then what I do, you can sew the wings on ahead of time. Okay. I like to to make sure they're even. I like to wait till till it's all till it's all done. Just yeah. And this is just a piece of felt on each side. And that's very easy. And I just use this, you know, little pattern. Pop it in. Yep. And then you sew. The first thing you do is you sew your seam closed. Okay, so you just kind of go along that edge, sew it, and add stuffing as you go. And then um, kind of poke through. I poke through from here all the way over. This is where it gets a little tricky. To the, the um, I'm just in awe of your sewing skills. I, that's the like the one thing that I would like to do. Because no, I have the sewing machine, but we'll just have to not do a, your skills. When I do one of my workshops at the Y that's oh, free and yeah. open to the public, I'll let you know. I would like so. to learn how to sew. Yeah, and then so that you just do a simple hand stitch around here. The googly eyes, um, you can put you know your little Easy. Goop, oh, yeah. You can all glue kinds those of on, and you're all set. Um, and then I like to use fishing wire, because even if you're not going to go know, crazy and be um, nuts and stay up all night and make a bird cage, <laughs> which I don't recommend, which actually. we appreciate. After so you can doing do that, that, I don't recommend it. Um, you, you can hang these. Um, this was actually inspired, the fact that I'm doing these stuffed uh, um, little toys is inspired by the woman I'm writing about this weekend. The Grand Rapids Press. Um, she, her name's Sarah Jo Sander, Saunders, and she is a clothing designer. Oh, okay. Um, she has Jo Clothing, but before she was doing clothing, she was doing stuffed little creatures. And she, in her house, has birds bigger than this, but they're hanging in the window. Oh, I like yeah, that. Yeah, and Very it's just, cool. and she'll give them to people, and they're just stuffed. They're easy to make, and they make people smile. You know, so this is one of those things that, um, unless you've stayed up all night making a cage, <laughs> you're probably likely to smile when you see these birds. You know, and very um, good. <laughs> we like that. But, but yeah, and these are easy to do. And if your kids draw a picture, you. Can you can do it. it. You can make it that. there. And the yeah. Kids get such a kick out of it. I like that. That's a very good idea. Yeah. Well, you need to go get some rest now. Go lay I back do. down. I really do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can find more information on our website at wzzm13.com. Just click on the Take Five links. Well, he's known for dressing celebs like Eva Longoria Parker. When we come back, we're going to talk with Robert Verdi live from Fashion Week in New York. So stay with us, please.